Joes, how y'all doing? Hope you're doing fantastic. Got Jasmine in the back here getting ready for a track day coming up tomorrow in Pittsburgh at Pittsburgh Race Complex. So I'm excited about that. Um, one crazy thing that happened, well, I, I didn't realize that this you know happens but when you do a burnout there's a lot of heat going on and you know when you have uh, plastic on a motorcycle uh, it starts to starts to melt so as you can see this is totally melted totally melted so when things melt they uh, they don't stay together very well so as I was going down the road it started to come apart <laughs> so I'm like oh dang you know got to take it back to a uh, to a performance and they fixed it up just right I mean uh, it, it looks I mean it's better than it was originally <laughs> I'm like dang you're like a magic worker, man. <laughs> They're really good over there at Two Wheel Performance. If you do have any motorcycle needs, definitely hit them up. They're, they are good. I, I was impressed. But you guys are probably wondering the truth about my businesses. Well, I've had, I guess, multiple businesses. You know, they, none of them ever really took off or anything like that. Um, back in the day, I had a photography business and you know I did a couple of weddings and and my actual Facebook that I have right now was my photography Facebook but once I started the YouTube I just switched it over I think I had like a hundred likes or something like that and now it's like 12,000 likes it's crazy crazy man and then I, d I did like, uh, I tried to do like landscaping, you know, like mowing lawns and stuff like that. I think every, every kid, you know, tries to make money, you know, mowing lawns. And then I did kind of like handyman work, you know, just on the side. That wasn't really a business but I you know I did like a couple of jobs or whatever you know none of those ever really took off the only thing that has really taken off for me in my life is you know is this YouTube sadly the situation that YouTube is right now I don't know if you've you know you've seen you know posts from like even suburban delinquent I mean like he's got he doesn't do anything super bad in his videos or anything. He doesn't even race, I don't think. Uh, yeah, he might do like wheelies once in a while, but a bunch of his videos got, uh, you know, limited ad available or something like that. That that thing that is is new now, you know, it's not suitable for advertisers. Uh, I have a ton of videos where they're not suitable for advertisers and you can you know request to fight it or whatever but they have a thing where like if it's if it's not getting a ton of views right now you know they have to wait i'm like well i mean you know if you have like 80 or more uh snowcat even if each one of them are getting 500 views it adds up so basically all those videos are not getting ad. It adds up to basically you're making no money. <laughs> money isn't everything, obviously, but it does make the world go round and it helps creators like us to do what we do and, and fund the, the, the different things that we do. The reason I, I started Patreon, I saw a bunch a bunch of other people doing it and I was like ah nah my YouTube's doing awesome I'm making you know plenty of money on on YouTube so you know I don't need to start a patreon and then the ad apocalypse came and you know now it's 
crazy the way that YouTube has totally changed things up I mean you, you can't you can't do anything like you know people are saying oh you should go back to, to racing or whatever but like racing videos don't get views anymore <laughs> you know that's, that's old news the reason why I stopped racing was um, they weren't getting views anymore so yeah because you know once you've seen one race you've seen them all i saw you know a bunch of other people you know doing the patreon so once the ad apocalypse came and you know views views went down considerably which is twofold you know i not i'm i've changed up the kind of videos that i do and you know that's understandable because you know you know the vlogs that i that i do now only like a certain amount of people i guess I don't know. I think I think it's a lot of it is um, the way YouTube has structured their their things now. I mean, they're, it's it's weird. It's hard to understand. I saw a bunch of people doing doing Patreon, and then the ad apocalypse came. I was like, you know what? I think it's a smart thing to do because with Patreon, it is an amazing platform for creators to be able to keep doing what they're doing without trying to figure out how to do a traditional business because uh, you know people say oh yeah you know sell shirts or whatever yeah you could sell shirts on on Teespring but you're not gonna get you know what you what you need like in in one year of of selling shirts on on Teespring you know I get that every month on Patreon. Patreon works. And it it enables creators that don't have a business background to have an income so they can keep doing what they're good at. And that's creating. Making videos for you guys. And you know, thank goodness for the people that do support me on there. I'm gonna do something like really special for the people that are on there. Uh, I haven't really decided yet and you know, with that, you know, in the grand scheme of things, you know, the, the Patreon, the way I have it set up, yeah, you could say that it's, it's failed. But, I'm gonna keep doing it. The only way you truly fail is to quit. It's doing something different now. Like, selling the R1 for one dollar is still on the, ta on the table, but it has to reach the goal to be able to do that because then you know then i would totally be a huge loss with the r1 if uh you know we don't hit the goal like i'm getting probably like a, a tenth of the income that i used to get uh on youtube and it, it's just it's just crazy the the volume that i'm at i mean i should be making pretty good money i mean if it was like this time last year i would be making good money at the volume that i'm at right now even with like the the low views that I'm currently getting on on each video. So yeah, I mean the all the other <laughs> motorcycle YouTubers, I mean there's other creators from YouTube that use Patreon as well because you don't ever want to get put all your eggs in one basket. It's just smart business. You know, you always want to diversify. That's why I am I'm going to be getting a job as well. I was working with Turd Bucket with his company. I never should have left there, but I wanted to see if I could really take this to the next level because I saw, you know, a lot of people being successful on YouTube and I was like, "Oh, you know, maybe I can do that." And it's been a great ride, but it's it's something that needs to be just extra and something that is not my main source of income. So, I am on a mission to find something that I would enjoy doing um, and would, you know, pay the, pay the bills. Everybody is getting hit with YouTube basically demonetizing videos and everything like that. And it's, and it's, it's pretty stupid because, I mean, advertisers, I don't know why they care now that, you know, an ad is before a video. It's like, dude, you, you clicked on the video because you like this creator or you were curious about the video. Who cares what ad is on 
in in front of it you know if somebody was stupid in a video and he was like racist or whatever who freaking cares like I, I'm not like connecting the two and like oh Pepsi was in front of that that video oh that's bad no I don't know that was kind of all over the place um, I'm really not good at you know explaining or doing that stuff so pardon me but I think I think that's pretty much it I'm, I might have to do this over <laughs> <laughs> but till next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.